Today's video is sponsored by DraftKings. DraftKings is a mobile and online betting platform. They're one of the country's leading sports betting, online casino, and daily fantasy providers. Now some of you are going to say, well Matt, I can't do sports betting where I live, but that's no big deal. You can still join and do DraftKings Daily Fantasy where you can win huge prizes. Let me tell you something I'm really excited about. This weekend, the giant YouTuber Jake Paul is going to be fighting the one and only Nate Diaz. They're battling it out, boxing in the ring, and it's definitely a matchup that I do not want to miss. With all this excitement, I decided to partner up with DraftKings to bring you guys a great offer you can take advantage of to get you in on all the action this weekend. They said I can only give you all a deal if I hit this target. All customers who bet $5 will get $150 in bonus bets instantly. Oh, oh, oh this guy's got hands. Oh. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use my promo code off the ranch and bet $5 on any wager and you will get $150 in bonus bets instantly. That's promo code off the ranch only from DraftKings Sportsbook. Do one thing today that will make tomorrow better than yesterday. I try to do something like that. Some little thing, it can be tiny, that will improve your life or the lives of others around you. And one thing I do every day is I freaking feed goats. I'm tired of it. They never say thank you. So I was like, what if I just bought a huge bale of hay, enough for an entire year, and then I don't have to feed them again, but once a year. I'll save so much time and my life will be way better. Smart. You gotta admit, it's pretty smart. Like, just feed you this and you're freaking done. It's next level thinking right there. Uh, I actually just bought this. Oh my, oh, this might be a problem. They were like, you want the really big one? We have like regular size round bells and then we got ones that are like 20% bigger. I was like, give me the big one. That's like 14 months I don't have to feed them instead of just 12. I don't, I don't know how I'm gonna move it though. My skid steer is at the resort. That is not this piece of property. But I'm thinking I just open it up, push it in. It'll be great. Distractions. You guys are real dumb. Like really, really, really just dumb. Okay, so I'm thinking I just uh, open her up and... That's, that's not that supposed to open. Okay, I think it's just gonna roll out. Oh, why is it? It's jammed shut. Come on. Go. Holy cow. All right, the real reason I actually bought this was because I want bedding for their little house over here. I didn't, however, know how heavy that thing was gonna be. I was thinking like, yeah, just, just roll it up this little hill right over here, roll it inside there, break it all apart, it'd be great. That's definitely not happening, but this is the current floor they have in here. It's just caliche and it's hard. I was like, I want something soft. I want like bedding in here, but I'm gonna have to bring it up one armful at a time, which is gonna be the worst. I have an idea and it's just crazy enough that it might work. So a truck is too big to fit through the gate, but this isn't. So here's what I'm thinking. Perfect, we'll put the trailer, little baby trailer on there and then push the hay bale up there and pull it, it'll be, there's a very good chance this won't work. We have to figure out how to secure that to this, but then also secure this thing better to this because it's, if it's pulling, you know, that big hay bale on a little trailer, it's gonna be nearly a thousand pounds on the back of this golf cart. Now see the limits today. Yeah, this is perfect. And now we just ratchet strap the rebar down. It's the best idea I've ever had. Okay. I wouldn't say this is my best idea ever, but it's up there. Is it at too much of an angle? No, it'll, it's gonna work. Just kick it. Dang it. It might be too much of an angle. All right, we'll just ratchet strap the trailer to the trailer hitch. It's perfect. Exactly. Here, we'll just, I'll pull it up to where the trailer's at an angle. It'll lock in. We got okay, it. Yeah, so safety first. Get those safety chains the on there. Oh, shoot. Um, we'll plug this into one of the batteries so we have lights. Good turning radius. See you, sucker! This is working great. We're gonna take it up to the go pin. 
back it in, try to load the bale of hay onto it, and then drive it over to where we need. It's gonna work flawlessly. It works flawlessly. So now, all we gotta do is get it on the trailer, which is gonna work flawlessly as well, as you know. That's how it's done. Now we just gotta drive 30 yards. All right, watch yourselves, watch yourselves. Oh, we're doing a burnout. We got the torque. Dang it. It just really hit that. I'm gonna have to get it out of there. Oh my gosh, don't do that. In case y'all wonder if goats are smart. <laughs> trying to make a bed for them. They're being stupid. You are so dumb. You are really, really dumb. For real. Get out of the way! We need a full-wheel drive golf cart. Come on. Come on. Come on. We gotta go burn Yeah! Just like I wanted it to do. Whoops, bent that a little bit, it's fine. I just realized that. I wasn't really paying attention going forward, I was just looking at this ditch. I totally ran it up on a hill there. But, look at us, we got a hay bale right in front of the barn now. This is great. We cut her open, and we just carry hay in there. It's just that easy. <laughs> That was fun. There you go, guys. Hey, don't eat your bed. I just I just got that for you. It's full. Um, definitely needed about one quarter of the amount of hay I got, but it's real rocky soil up here. The bottom of their pen down there has a bunch of dirt, but up here, very rocky, so I'm just gonna kind of spread it all around here. Give them something to eat. The rest of it will turn to dirt, which will help them. We're just gonna leave that there. It's stuck there forever. <laughs> Heck yeah. Club cart for all your off-roading adventures. Okay, I have way too much hay, but that'll be great. Because um, obviously they're not going to eat all this before it starts going bad. But whatever goes bad will make for some great dirt in the future and give them a nice soft pad outside of their little pad. Good stuff. Y'all about to be some fatties, some fatter than you already are. This is a boy, but I had to use the grain trick a few times. So. He's been eating the entire hour I've been out here. One thing done for the goats to make their tomorrow better than their yesterday. Okay, was there something you guys clicked on this video for that you really want to see that I haven't even mentioned yet? I'm sorry. All right, let me go show you the cutest thing you've ever seen. So here's the deal. We've been thinking about getting us a little mouser for a while. Oh, look at this little thing. Just cause you know, we leave these doors open and it's a shop. There might be mice out here. So we're like, let's get a barn cat. And this guy needed a home. Someone we knew was bottle feeding him and trying to find him a home. And we were like, yeah, we'll freaking take him. So he doesn't have a name. We've been trying to think of like, what we should name him, and like if it should be something just super cliche like Deagle or something like that, or if we ought to just give him like a old man name and call him Walter. I don't know. We're up for anything. Or give him a food name. Maybe his name's Oatmeal or Bean. I don't know. What do you guys think? What does he look like to you? We haven't said any name that we're like, yeah, that's the one. I mean, look how cute and inquisitive he is. He's super playful. Super happy little kitten. He's a boy, obviously. You can tell by how masculine and handsome he is. Look how cute this little thing is. He's so tiny. That little tail. And he's a big, loud purr. He's kind of nervous right now because we have our fans on. And so it's kind of blowing a little air and I think he's trying to figure out why there's air coming from different directions. All right, what's his name? What does he look like to you? Is this Walter? <laughs> My kids have not yet seen him. They're gonna be super pumped. But 
Meredith is allergic to cats, so we haven't ever had an indoor cat. But out here in the barn, I could do whatever I want. And so we're gonna have us a little barn cat. But he's gonna be an indoor outdoor cat. We'll make a little kitty door for him so he can come in and out and uh, get any mice that might be in here. And then just do his exploring as a young little kitten should. You're, you're a good boy. You're a good boy. He's so cute. But for real, we do need a name and I'll be looking at the description uh, for name suggestions. And we will pick probably something that one of you guys says because I really don't know which direction to go with this little guy. Frank, Larry, Lester, guacamole, guacamole. Let me know in the comments below. Give me some names. I actually finally started working on this car again. So it was leaking out of a hydraulic line. I went ahead and yesterday pulled it out. Uh, let's see. One of these, yeah, there it is. There's a problem right there. Straight up huge hole in that. So I'm not really sure, it looks like it's all scraped around it, so we must, it must have just been hanging and dragging and it finally just popped. So I need to get that remade. And then it also was leaking oil through this fitting. I opened that up and found out that that hose is just busted as well. So I'm gonna fix that right now. I need to take that and drop it off, get someone to remake me that whole hydraulic line. And then I feel like there was something else wrong. It seemed like when I was like driving it back in here, it was dragging something, but I couldn't tell if it was just because the whole car was down on one side because this lost pressure. So once we get all up, get up in the air, I want to see if it still drives. Trying to decide if I should take this thing or Ranch Tang to Bristol, Tennessee in September for the Bristol Cletus and Cars. There's something blowing on the ground and he's watching it. Oh, it's you. I didn't even see you over there. Never mind. Attack. So funny that cats just know how to sneak at such a young age. Like he is trying as hard as he can to hide from that fake fish. Get it, attack. So also let me know in the comments below which car you wanna see at Bristol, Tennessee. Not gonna be that one, that's all I know. Blown head gasket, I think. Whoa, he can fly. You're real dumb. Dumb, dumb, dumb de dumb. You're stupid cute though. <laughs> Let's see if I have Fix this thing. Can I, I can't reach it. Let's go in. I could just open the door, but that'd be too easy. If I fixed it, should not leak any oil. Aha! Yes! That's what I like to hear. I'm gonna go in. Ugh. Idle her down. That idled down a little too far. Come on. Well, oh, that supercharger sounds nasty. Go ahead and open up the exhaust, too. What are we doing? Closed cutouts. There we go. Ow. Oh, good. All right. Close her up. I'll check one more time. Ugh. Make sure. We are not leaking. And then I think I fixed it. Perfect! Ugh. Okay. One problem fixed. Need that hydraulic line, which I think is gonna be a pretty easy fix. Uh, once we get a new hydraulic line, we'll just put that back on there. It's literally screwing on both ends. And then like wire tying up the middle uh, to where it doesn't get crushed or drug like it did last time, I guess. 
and I am hoping, fingers crossed, that this thing is good to go. So we actually, uh, Mikey was taking that line to a shop in town to see if they can get it remade, and then we'll freaking know. So let me know, you want this thing or ranch tang in Bristol? And I'll tell you, y'all are probably gonna vote for this thing because you haven't seen it in a while and it's pretty fun to watch, but ranch tang is getting a brand new built transmission and compound turbos, I think. I think we're gonna be able to do that, which is gonna mean Ranch thing's gonna freaking rip it up. Anyway, let me know. Name for kitten and which car do you want to see? El Dorado or the Ranch Tang? Heading home with little buddy. And uh, my kids just texted me um, and told me that I need to bring the bucket because we are getting chickens tonight, baby chicks tonight. So I got this uh, water trough that we raised the babies in. We haven't had chickens in a while, but the girls want to start a business where they pay for everything themselves. They're gonna buy the chicks and they're gonna buy all the feed, and they're gonna take care of them, and they're gonna sell the eggs. I told them it's gonna be really hard to make money on chicken eggs, but they wanna try, I'll support it. I think it's pretty cool. You wanna hold it? What do you think? You wanna go show the girls? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. No way. That's so cute. Isn't he cute? Uh, we don't really know. We've made up a Elmo. bunch of names. Yeah. Elmo? Yeah. No, no Elmo, no Elmo. <laughs> Is it a girl or a boy? It's a boy. We just went and got chicks. We have eight new chicks. The girls got all the yellow ones. Lincoln got the little brown one. They're white. They will be white. They're, they're, they're all gonna be spotted. The yellow ones are gonna be white with black spots Look when they're bigger. It. Look at this little guy. Girl. Should be all girls. Yeah. Hopefully. Look how cute they are. They're all tweeting. He flaps his feathers. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna get the kitten to come play with them. Yes, go get the kitten. Super cute montage commence! Okay, that's it for now. We're gonna play with uh, chicks and kittens for the rest of the night, so. You guys have a wonderful one. Thanks for watching. I love you, and I'll see you next time. Oh. I'm on fire! Whoa. Oh. Hey, what camera's that, number? Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell Mayor. Oh, yeah!